Hey, what's up everyone? Sam here. Before we get into the video, do remember about the rolling giveaway. For every video I release, I'll be giving away one of these awesome Feed Your Mind hats. To win, all you gotta do is leave a comment in the first hour of my video being live. So as soon as my video comes out, leave a comment and in an hour's time, I'll pick a winner at random. So turn on channel notifications, follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Snapchat so you know when I'm dropping a new video. But anyway, today I'm going to be showing you 5 secret languages you didn't know exist. Number 5. Polari Polari is a fairly modern secret language used by gay people in Britain. While today it's no longer used, back in the 1930s to 1960s it was. It was started by British sailors and became the unofficial language for British gays. Back then it was illegal to be gay, so to avoid being discovered, gays had to quite literally use their own secret language. The language is still spoken as English, however words have different meanings. For example, sex is called trade, vada means to look at, chicken is a young man, police are called sharpie, and an attractive man is called a dish. So if people were to hear someone speak Polari, it won't sound foreign, but at the same time, it wouldn't really make much sense. Number 4. Leet Back in the 1980s, a group of hackers started their own language. The language is called Leet, or Hackspeak, and you may have seen it before. The language isn't made to be spoken in everyday life, instead it's only for communication through digital devices. For example, to write the word hacker in Leet would look like this. All that's being done here is creating a word using letters, numbers and symbols. It's not really a majorly sophisticated language as decoding it isn't really that difficult. However, it does have its uses. It can be used to bypass spam filters where certain words are blocked, but can also be used as a way of creating a really strong password from a simple, easy to remember word. Number 3. Boontling in the town of Boonville, California, they had an unofficial language. It was called Boontling and was being used from 1880 to 1920. The language is made up from several Native American languages, Spanish, English and slang words. A lot of the slang words were based on people who lived in Boonville. For example, Jeffa meant fire. This is because a man called Jeff Vestal often liked to start fires. The word for doctor was shovel tooth. Again, this is because the town's doctor at the time had a wide tooth. The language stayed within Boonville and never spread, mainly because it wasn't around for long, and I guess a lot of the references didn't really make sense to outsiders. Number 2. Swad Speak Swad Speak is another secret language used by gays, but this time in the Philippines. Again, gay people lacked rights and had to speak in code to not be discovered. The language is a mixture of English, Spanish, Japanese and several native Philippine languages. It doesn't have any strict rules and words can be added and removed when needed. Names of brands, celebrities and politicians are also used to mean certain words. Number 1. Thieves Can't Thieves Can't is a criminal language that was used in Britain. Similar to the famous Cockney rhyming slang, it was used by criminals, thieves and beggars to communicate in secret. Essentially, the language is made up where certain words have different meanings. For example, a victim is called a pigeon, and a criminal is called a pigeon plucker. Counterfeiting money is drawing the king's picture, and numerous other words have different meanings. These languages were effective for criminals, but local law enforcement started learning to speak the language of criminals, which ultimately made them useless. Thank you for watching, make sure to turn on channel notifications and follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Snapchat. Every video I release, I'll be giving away one of these awesome Feed Your Mind hats. All you gotta do to have a chance to win is leave a comment within the first hour of my video going live. So good luck, once again, thank you for watching and until next time, Feed Your Mind.